How do I know if he or she is marriage material? Marriage material. Yes. If they're made of material, like like it comes with like a warning, like a little label inside, like know, marriage exactly. material, like cotton, polyester, marriage material. Exactly. Okay. So I, uh, oof, what a question. Just laying it on thick today, Rabbi. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I think it's really tough to know if somebody, I'm assuming the questioner is asking how do I know from the first time that I meet someone if I can marry them? To which I would say that's a really bad idea. You don't want to know if you can marry them from the first moment that you meet them. That's a really bad yeah. idea. Yeah, you can. not But on, on the contrary, you want to know when you meet them if you're interested, if you're curious, if you want to know more about them. You don't want to know if you want to marry them. That's a lot to put in, a lot of pressure to put into a first meeting. Yeah. I'm hearing also marriage material, and I'm defining that as I believe that you are the quality and type of person that I might like to marry, which means it's not are you marriage material. The question really is, are is who you are in alignment with me and my values and what I'm looking for, and are we compatible to me, that would be the definition of marriage material, because I could tell you that there's dozens of people out there that I've met that are like marriage material. What does that mean? They're marriageable. They're in a good place. They have a good job. Their life is settled. They're emotionally stable. They're healthy. They've got a good sense of humor, right? They can make things happen in the world. That's marriage material. But that just might be Mr. or Mrs. right now, or Mr. or Mrs. good enough, but not good enough for me even though they're able to be married and, and they're made of the right stuff, I really hear what you're saying, which is how do I know if you're for me right now on the first date, which I agree. We totally don't know. We just know we like you and I like you enough to get to a second date. Yay. And oh, you're good enough to get to a third date. And hey, third date wasn't so great, but first two were okay. So I'm willing to try and invest in a fourth date. And oh, that was better. And, and maybe I'll try a fifth date and oh, wow, things are getting going. And oh, I, I see we are in alignment. And oh, this is kind of working. Actually, this is kind of nice. You know, and all of a sudden, wow, they, they're marriage material, but they're appropriate for me. That's kind, of, that's kind of how I break that down. Let's dig a little deeper into this, because I think this is a really important question that a lot of singles have. Is there a particular value or personality aspect that you can say, oh, this person is someone who probably has the personality aspect or the value that will allow them to be a good husband or wife. Yes, definitely. Actually, you and I talked about this the other day and we came up with a good list. We had 10 or 11 things on it. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Sure. Okay. So one of the things is communication. If somebody's a good, healthy communicator, knows how to have appropriate interactions, timely interactions, knows when to back off, I think that's a really important thing. I think that people have to know how to have a good fight. If you cannot pick yourself up when you get down, then you can forget about it. Like it's just, it's not going to work. Every couple's going to fall. And I'm not worried if you fall. I'm worried if you know how to pick yourself up from that fall, dust yourself off and bring yourself to a better place. I so agree with you on that having a good fight. So would you say to this questioner who asked about marriage material, you should have a good fight on your first date? No, <laughs> save that for like date number, I don't know, six, seven, like you have to have enough of a foundation and, and a like of each other to make something work. Yeah, and, and no fighting on the first because date. I'm trying to, and you know, I, I, I'm thinking about the, the 11 things that we came up with, but I'm also thinking about what is like, let's think of a value. Like just right here, right now, what's a value that someone will know that's, I could see that now and that's something that's good for the future? I mean, clearly a good listener is a high value. I want to be seen, heard, understood by my partner. And if you don't know how to listen, you are not a good partner for anybody. That's like, <laughs> bye, see you later. So if he spends the whole time talking about himself because he's nervous... No, so you have right, so you have to understand what happens in dating. So, of course, on a first date, 
one or both sides are going to be nervous and they're going to probably do things that they normally wouldn't do, like talk the whole date and talk about themselves and forget to ask questions and forget to order you a drink. Have you heard of that one too? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> right? So it makes it difficult to be your best self. You're just trying to like get through the first date and you you don't know what's going to happen. So no, I ask people to be a little bit forgiving and go out a little bit longer. That's, yeah, it, it, you want to get into a flow. You want to have a little bit of a vibe, a little bit of a connection. You want to have, like you say, Rabbi, a curiosity about the other person. And if you can't get a word in edgewise, they might be really nervous. So, you know, bring the energy down, talk a little bit slower, a little bit quieter, because if you're all up and excited and everything's so good and, and they're going to follow it and then they're just going to jump in and keep talking and then the conversation's never going to end and you're never going to get a word in edgewise. So I think to summarize, to the person who asks, um, do you, how do you know if someone's good, good marriage material? I think we would say there's really no way to know. Probably you have to know yourself. Um, know what you value. There's no magic potion that you can just spray that is going to say this person is good marriage material. What else? And know the other person and give yourself long enough to get to know the other person. And as long as you can do that, then we know that if I get to know you and you get to know me, then we're going to know if we're compatible and if we like this thing that's happening or if we want to go, bye. So nice to meet you. See you later. That's a very good, I think it's a very, very good takeaway is you have to, you said something really good there and I forgot. Get to know, get to know them long enough. Give them enough of an opportunity to really show you who they are on the inside, on the outside. You can see different sides of them and you can evaluate it. You need time because also I expect some dates to go well and some dates to go poorly. So just for example, within the first five dates, you might have two really terrible dates and three decent dates and it, and it like balances itself out and you're like, wow, that one wasn't as good as the previous one. And I do like this, but I don't like that. Or this is happening and, and I'm not sure. You have to go out with somebody for a long enough time to have enough data to make a qualified decision. And you have to know yourself well enough and you have to get them to talk and you have to ask questions and you get to, you have to get to know the other person well enough as well. That's fantastic. Thank you, Eliza. This was great. Thank you, Rabbi.